In the Fourier transform infrared experiment, there is a function, a mathematical function, applied to the spectrum that is called apodization. Now, for the most part, this happens in the background, and you're never going to see it. You're never going to worry about it. But I want to tell you a little bit about what it is, just so you know how the settings can alter a spectrum. The word means to cut off the feet. So it's the A pod. You're cutting off the feet of the spectrum. And basically what it does, if you remember from one of the early presentations, we talked about the interferogram. This is called the interferogram. That's the signal that's actually coming out of the FTIR. And what the apodization does is it realizes that most of the noise in the spectrum is located out here in the wings. There's also signal out there, but there's noise out there. So what we do with the apodization function is we multiply this thing. It's actually called a convolution. But we multiply by a function that looks like this. And that when you multiply that times that, what it does is it zeroes out these wings. It makes the noise go away. So if you were to look at the infrared spectrum, you might have noise in the one case. And then when you apply an apodization function, the noise would decrease. The peak would still be there, but the noise would decrease. Now, it sounds like in that case, you won't apply apodization. The problem is that if you apply a heavy apodization function, you also damage your signal. And I'm going to show you that when we stand at the instrument. We will run a gas phase spectrum where the peaks are very narrow. So you have a very narrow peak. And if you apply a strong apodization function to a narrow peak like this, what happens is the peak looks like it's been run over. It flattens out and it actually broadens. So the peak looks like it's been hit. So we'll be looking, when we get in the lab at a couple, we'll look at what's called a boxcar apodization. And that boxcar is basically nothing. It's no apodization at all. We're letting the signal through without affecting at all. And then we'll look at some of the heavier ones. We'll look at the uh, Norton Beer Strong and the Norton Beer Wheat. And then we'll also look at even the heavier ones so we'll, as we look at those different apodization functions, you'll see how they affect the spectrum. If you have a broad spectrum, like a liquid or a solid, generally the apodization function is not going to change the spectrum. In that case, you just use one that suppresses the noise without altering the line width. And that, again, the instrument, the manufacturers set those up so that there's already a default chosen that makes that decision for you. In the case of gases, however, you may need the boxcar because you're going to need those very narrow line widths. And that's the example we'll look at next when we go into the lab with this.